What's happening boys and welcome to this segment right here on your boy your sheriff I found another glitch that's still active for you guys and this glitch is solo And it's gonna make some people happy because they were comfortable doing it It's a workaround for a glitch that we were doing This is B level 2 okay I'm showing you guys what B level 2 looks like uh, This empty spot is not actually empty so you don't have to worry about it It's a full level garage and you need to make sure that it's a full level garage okay from this point, we are going to go to B3, and B3, I'm going to show you the setup in it as well, and we're going to fill it up with more RH8s in order to have the whole level full. Now, before we get into this glitch, there is some stuff that we need to take care of right here, like a family, man. I always tell you what, come to the channel, drop a like, always show your support, and drop a comment. So, Axel came forward, and he confirmed his email, okay? He, he reached out to me on Twitter, and he confirmed, and he said... Here's the email. I'm probably going to buy a game uh, with the $25 that I'm going to win from you. So, from this point, of course, I always ask him if you're on Xbox Live, go ahead and give me your gamer tag. This way I could go and get you a gift card. It's very easy. If it's not on the Xbox, we go for PayPal. And PayPal is really easy as well because you could just wire the money. Sorry, you guys, if you're playing on PS4, it's a little bit difficult for me to get you guys any gift cards because of the region that we are stuck in. If I'm in Canada, I can't really give somebody who's playing on the PlayStation in the US a gift card. That's the way the PlayStation works. In the background, all right? Like I'm always telling you, pay attention to what's happening. I just filled up that B3 level with cars and now I'm gonna head out and go toward a different garage. So if you haven't dropped a like, if you're not part of the squad yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, drop the notification on this channel. Make sure you're part of it. We got three more winners to draw. Let's keep going with this glitch and show you the workaround because some of you guys were struggling yesterday with the other glitch that has to do with some timing, clicking up and A when you're exiting your B2 into B3. So this glitch could be a little bit easier for you if you're more comfortable with it. So what I did right there was come out of the garage, I went outside, I didn't bring a personal vehicle, and I'm going to call the mechanic to see which other garage that I own that has RH8s in it. The RH8 that you're going to find right now is the one that's going to get replaced. And I'll show you the plates in order to make this very easy for you to understand. So my first garage is 331 Supply Street and it's up ahead on the left side. It has an RH8 in it. So that's the perfect garage for me. Now that garage can have 10 cars, it could have 2 cars, it could be full, it could be not full. It doesn't matter. You just need an RH8 from a different garage that you go ahead and you get out yourself. So, let's walk in there. Once you walk in there, I'm going to sit inside the car to show you guys the plate. This is the plate that we're going to transfer. The beauty of this glitch is you don't need custom plates. Now with the new system that Rockstar is using, they detect the custom plates if you are selling too many cars. So this plate ends with 280. Make note of that and let's keep going ahead with the glitch. Now, once you come out here, just drop the car, and if the street vehicle is still sitting, just take it and drive away from that vehicle. This is the workaround that you need to do in order to get this glitch to work. So you see me, I'm going to drive away a little bit. I'm going to park right here. I'm going to get out of the car, and I'm going to register as a VIP CEO or whatever. I, re I recommend the CEO thing because it's easy for you to launch jobs inside the invite only session you don't need in, you don't need to be in a public lobby pop up your menu one more time go under secure serve and under work right there you're going to find a job called sightseer now the sightseer can be launched in an invite only session and that makes it perfect for this glitch and it makes this glitch active again once you launch the sightseer you can drive away from that personal vehicle back there and you can go ahead and call on your deluxo okay so this is how you unpatch that glitch again one more time. Once you have your Deluxo, we're going to go ahead and drive toward the location I'm going to show you right here on the map. Now, this is the location right here. And it's at the end of the runway toward a garage that still has a wall breach in it that's not been fixed by Rockstar. That's the garage right in front of us. So we're going to get into the Deluxo and we're going to drive into that area. Now I'm going to show you guys two things right here. One time we're going to fail. And then I'm going to show you the second time that worked because a lot of you guys struggle with these glitches and you think that maybe you're doing something wrong. You're not doing anything wrong. You're doing everything right. But it's a glitch, gamer. Okay? 
So you got to be patient with it. You got to be very patient. Now look at this. Look what happened right here. I didn't really dip down all the way. I'm a little bit up high. You can see the ground. I'm not really that deep. You can even see a sign spawning right under the map. So we're going to go toward the magic location that we've been using before. And we are going to be basically taking the hover mode off. But here is the deal. Because we're not that deep, it's not really going to work this time. And it's going to do what it does with you guys as well. It frustrates a lot of you guys. And I see the comment. I see the comment coming on the channel saying, Yeah, Sheriff, it spawns me right outside the, um, the runway. And that's how it works. If you're not at the proper height, it's not going to work for you. You can see, look at that. We're very close to the ground. You can see the grass from up there. I take my time positioning the car and I show you the location where you're supposed to be. But it's not going to work this time because we're not really positioned at the proper height. So let's take away the hover mode. Once you take away the hover mode right here, you're supposed to drop down into your club. You've also seen the stolen plate on the back of this Deluxo, right? That's supposed to change if you are going to be duplicating this car. So, right there and then, we're dipping, we're dipping, nothing is happening, and it's just going to pop us on top of the runway. Very frustrating. It makes you think that the glitch is patched, and this is when the comment starts coming in. The glitch is patched, the glitch is patched. Let's take another stab at it again together here. So this time, let's do it right, okay? When we get inside that wall breach, we're going to dip down. And I'm going to take my time with you guys in order to show you that magic spot. I don't want you guys to get frustrated. The other thing I want to tell you as we're doing this, the other glitch is still active, okay? The one that I showed you guys from yesterday, you guys showed some amazing support on that, and I'm really happy. There is, There was some negative comments, but you know what? There is people that are always going to be negative. We know that in the community, right? These people, you can't really get them to be positive. Maybe as they hang around us more and they see the vibe on the channel is always positive, maybe they become positive and they, they like what we have here. But they, it seems like they just come to, you know, maybe they need somebody to talk to them. I don't know. You know what? They're more than welcome on the channel. You can come and voice your frustration. It's not a problem. We're having this for fun and that's it. Okay, so I'm going to position myself again. And now you see that we are lower than last time. We can't really see the grass up there. Remember at the beginning we saw the grass on the map? Well, you can't see it from down here. We're way down. The hangar is way above us. Now we're going to take away the hover mode in a little bit here. And there it is right there. The map changed. You are inside your garage in B level 2 uh, in the nightclub. And that's how it works. Now the plate is going to change once we gas. I'm showing you right there how far down we are so you understand what type of height you need to be at. Let's gas it right here and get out of the garage. Sh see the change of the plate and this is how you know that the glitch is working at this point. We got a different plate that was on the RH8 in the beginning, the one that I showed you in the beginning. Now we're back on the proper track. We got very little stuff to do that we've done before. That is ordering an RH8 in B level 2. Now make note where I'm ordering this RH8. I'm going to replace another one in spot number 4. Okay? In spot number 4, boys and girls, you, you never replace a retro allergy. Okay? You're replacing a free social club allergy right there. And we're going to drive into that garage. Now that car hasn't been delivered yet. So obviously it's going to be an empty spot. Enter the same level garage that you ordered that car in it. And once you enter that garage, it's going to tell you where do you want to replace the vehicle that you're driving in from. It's thinking that that's a street vehicle right now. That's why it didn't say anything is going to transfer. We're going to, of course, replace the vehicle in spot number four. Things should be still looking the same right now. Nothing has changed. So you need to make your way all the way to the blue circle. And now you're going to pick which car you want to duplicate. Now, people that have cars with less modifications on them are probably going to get a lot less money than people doing the retro allergy. It is the top dog when it comes to this game. We're going to replace the spot number 3 with spot number 4. And there you have it right there. The RH8 is in spot number 3. Don't get mixed up. That's the car that you need to take right now and get out of this area. So let's get into it. I'm going to show you the plate on it again one more time. And once we get out, things should change again back to normal. Because that is the vehicle that we drove in. One more time. Plate view. Done. Now, the downside of this glitch is you need to see the VIP work all the way till the end. Okay, so the VIP event has to end because you can't enter the MOC if the VIP event is running. They don't let you do that. 
but again if you are comfortable with this glitch over the other one it is solo it is in an invite only session and it's gonna make you a million a pop so you gotta pick which one you're comfortable with both glitches are working I always like to bring it to you guys and call it the way it is this one is gonna take you a little bit longer but it's not that bad you can take a little break come back the timer will be gone you drive into the MOC you drive out this car is duplicated and you can move on to the other one boys 1 million in the bank you can go ahead and enjoy the brand new DLC drop your like have notifications on we got three more winners to take I'll let you guys go peace out everybody let's make it sound dumber peace out